Chin, a visionary man, the risk taker, the fierce entrepreneur, leadership in the making. Oh, there are so many similarities between my favorite sport of horse racing and the world of business. First, you have to select a good horse or an ID, train and nurture it for it to become a potential champion or successful business. Enjoy the success and the glory when you win and deal with the disappointments when you do not. The journeys are so similar, but the experiences that you gain along the way are priceless. Now let's take a look at where it all began. He returned to Trinidad after his time in Canada in 1981. With a business degree from the University of Western Ontario in London, Canada, Derek Chin's first venture started with amusement video games in the 80s. His first purchase? A Kidirama game from the old terminal at the Piaco Airport. This eventually led to his opening the popular arcade, Games World. The arcades required a degree of security, which encouraged him to open his own in-house security business, Telecom Security Services. Its main customers, banks and corporations. While business and commerce have always been a major part of his life, no one can deny his long-standing passion for horses. Derek is a former chairman of the TTRA, past president of the Arima Race Club, and currently serves as a member of the Jockey Club of Canada, while being a leading Caribbean horse owner in North America for the last three years. This passion extends beyond local shores into places such as Woodbine, Canada, and Gulfstream, Florida. He has always proudly represented Trinidad and Tobago, showing national pride by naming his graded states winners, competing in North America after local colloquial slams such as Trini Brunette, Jamin Still, Trini Boss, and Full Extreme. His involvement in horse racing gave him relevant experience that would allow him to innovate by conceptualizing the Jackpot 6 in 1986 in order to create a new revenue stream for the racing fraternity. This was the genesis for what we now call the online lottery, which is now called Lotto or Playway. His involvement in the lottery took him to Las Vegas to do more research at the gaming conventions where he became intrigued by digital signboards. He opened his own signage company, SignTech. Through SignTech, he met with movie distributors in order to entice them to advertise upcoming movies on his digital signboards. They introduced him to the movie business and the rest was history. Derek moved on to pioneer a world-class theatrical film viewing experience. The Movie Town concept, that of an integrated theatrical, shopping and family entertainment center has reinvigorated the idea of family time, providing a place for patrons to enjoy. This signature space includes shopping experiences, world-class dining experiences of Texas de Brazil, Ruby Tuesday, Rizzoni's, a casino, an amusement park, an open air space for live performances and the Movie Town Banquet Center, which is a perfect place to host both corporate and private events. Derek moved on to develop the brand and expanded into Tobago, Chaguanas, and San Fernando. Now, this highly successful model is expanding beyond the shores of Trinidad and Tobago, with developments in Guyana and further afield. Derek regularly headlines annual entrepreneurial lectures at UWE, the Institute of Chartered Accountants, UTC, secondary schools, as well as chambers of commerce, both locally and regionally. Derek also sits on the panel of investors on an entrepreneurship development TV series, Planting Seeds. He has played an active role in Horses Helping Humans by funding and donating horses to help autistic children. He supports the development of the local film industry by supporting the annual Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. Derek continues to assist several charitable initiatives. He has made financial donations to many other charitable organizations in support of the community and underprivileged children. Derek also credits wife Colleen and his three children, Ryan, Stefan, and Alexis, for their unwavering love and support through his journey. He also recognizes the tremendous support of his loyal board of directors and the staff members, in excess of 2,300 people for without whom he would not have achieved such success. 
Derek still continues to dream and has a greater vision for Trinidad and Tobago, embodied in his continued interest in his streets of the world in Vader's Bay. The Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce is proud to induct Mr. Derek Chin into our Business Hall of Fame.